Hey guys, it's me, the Halloween channel, and today I'm gonna be reviewing Uncle Charlie from Spirit Halloween. So today we're reviewing Uncle Charlie, and this is the new Uncle Charlie for 2020. Um, this is the second prop I have gotten for the 2020 season. I also have gotten Miss Mercy, but um, I didn't get the chance to do a review on her because I already put her back in the box. And um, I'm doing a review on Uncle Charlie now. I don't know when this will be out, but this is his review. And, you know, um, I'm going to be talking about as in I do in all my prop reviews. I'm gonna be talking about his pros and cons. I'll go over a few categories such as price, animation, all that good stuff. And yeah, I will tell you at the end, I'll give him a rating like uh, something out of 10. Uh, for example, eight out of 10 or nine out of 10 or whatever. So let's just talk about his price first. So I do different categories in my reviews and I don't always talk about price first. I just kind of, um, I don't always do the same categories in my reviews. I just kind of look at the prop and think, you know, what should I do first? I, do, I don't do them in any specific order. So I just decided well, I'm gonna talk about price first on this one. And uh, his price is $210. Now this is the, of course, the remake, the Uncle Charlie remake, he was in 2010, if you didn't know, he was an old prop from Spirit Halloween in 2010, he was um, showcased in the Circuit of Spirit theme, and um, yeah, for some reason a lot of people were obsessed with him, all he did was he had this weird, like, accent, and he turned his head, he had these red light up eyes, and he had this creepy mouth, um, and that's all he did, he just talked and stuff, and he had this free candy bucket, um, and for some reason, like a couple years ago, maybe it was 2017 or 2018, um, people just were begging for him, uh, begging Spirit to bring him back. Like they really wanted him back. And finally, uh, we have proof that Spirit listens to their fans because this year they brought him back for our first sneak peek and they brought a, a couple other props back for this thing called Flashback Fridays. They brought back Flesh Eating Zombie from 2011 and also uh, another 2011 prop, The Gatekeeper. But those were online only props. This guy was actually in store and I think he's really cool. Um, so I, just, I picked him up a little while ago and this is what he looks like. His price is $209.99, so basically $210. And the original Uncle Charlie had, um, his price was $150. Now, that's a pretty big price raise, like it, um, $60 more. Um, and he does have some, like, better features. Like he, um, the poles look better because I remember on the old ones, it kind of, like the poles kind of stuck out, kind of like making him look fat or something like that. <laughs> I don't really remember. Also, he had like these uh, s shoes made out of stuffing, and these are like plastic, so those are better quality. Um, this one also has a latex head, um, while the other one had hard plastic. I don't know if that's an upgrade. I'm pretty sure it's an upgrade, but the sad thing is the latex kind of like just it, it's like deformed a little bit, so that happens at a lot of them, and it kind of is deformed on mine. He also has a moving mouth, which is the biggest new feature. And instead of red light up eyes, he has yellow light up eyes, um, which is kind of sad because I think the red light up eyes were creepier, but he still looks pretty cool. So with all of that, with all those modifications to make him better, um, you'd expect a price rate raise, of course. $60 is kind of a lot though, but the main reason for that is because um, Spirit Halloween, uh, as the years go by, um, the props, uh, the props get more pricey. The props just, like, keep getting more expensive, okay? So, in 2010, this guy would have been, um, with all, if this actual guy was sold in 2010, like, this exact thing, not the old version, but if this exact thing w was sold in 2010, it'd probably be, like, I don't know, 180, because it has a lot of better quality stuff than, you know, the new shoes, the, the moving mouth, the head and so you know um but they did decide to add some more because um they just decided to add a bigger price tag because you know that's what they do now they just make everything so expensive so i think he might be a little overpriced um i think 200 he should have just been 200 it's not really that overpriced um but 
I, I think it's a pretty fair price. Maybe the $10 is a little bit much, but uh, 210 is pretty okay. So I think that's a fine price. So that's kind of a pro. Next, let's talk about his detail, which I usually talk about first. That's the first category I talk about in my proper reviews, but I guess I didn't do that this time. Anyway, um, his detail. Let's start with his shoes. So his shoes, once again, are um, nice, nice um, plastic instead of those like weird cloth things that Uncle Charlie and also Wacky Mole Clown, I'm pretty sure, had those like weird cloth shoes. And one thing I did notice when I was doing his unboxing is that he has these little like little stub things or whatever that you put his shoes on and on other props like such as like other clown SVI props because he's a uh, seasonal visions international which is SVI um, on other SVI clown props they um, they have these these same shoes like the big shoes and uh, like towering clown hugs the clown uh, peekaboo clown they don't have these, or, well, I don't know if Peekaboo Clown does, because, um, because I don't have him, but I know Hugs the Clown and Towering Clown don't have those little things, and that makes their, their shoes, like, go all the all around, and just, like, sometimes they go all the way behind, like that, so, I think that's a great addition to, to make sure the shoes don't go all over the place, but, um, I, that's just something I wanted to mention. Now we move up, we have his pants, which still have this, uh, e-sticker, which I don't need, I don't know why I have that. And then um, we move up again, and he has his free candy bucket. I put the adapter in here, um, but that's it doesn't come like that. But we have the free candy bucket. It says, it says free candy on it, because um, it's a free candy bucket, duh. And it has some blood around it, and you, and you can actually put candy in there. And then it kind of like, you know, like wobbles like that. Kind of like kind of like that, but um, also we have in the other hand the lollipop. Now this is one thing I really don't like about him. This lollipop looks really dumb. It does not look like a real lollipop. Like the old Uncle Charlie had like this red and blue and orange or something. I something I don't know. I haven't looked it up in a while, but I I knew it actually looked kind of like a real lollipop. This one just looks like a white. A, like a white plastic thing that looks, you know, it's supposed to look like a lollipop shape. And then you can like see the paint. It's like this cheap paint, like some preschoolers slap paint on there. <laughs> it just looks really dumb and I don't like it. But um, that's probably one of the worst things about him. Just the, lo just the lollipop, it's kind of, it's pretty dumb. But I might want to replace that lollipop. You, unfortunately, you can't take it out of his hand. So you'd have to like, I don't know, cut it off or something. It would be hard to take it off. So sadly, it's not removable. Um, but maybe I'll replace it or maybe I'll just like put a wrapper around it or paint it. Um, he's also got his hands, which I think are pretty good quality. Um, they look pretty good. And they're plastic. Um, we've also got his like jacket. We've also got this flower, and this flower is kind of like leaning down, and I might want to like tape it or glue it up here because it keeps like falling down. It looks kind of dumb, so I might want to might want to glue it, like hot glue it there. But we've got the rest of his jacket. He's got these buttons, which are like you can see the Velcro right there. You can take them off. Um, and then we have these rips in his shirt, or is it his jacket? And uh, in here, you can like kind of see in this rip, you can see his inner workings. And I think the rips look kind of dumb. I think the rips kind of ruin the jacket. And they're all like over here for some reason. There's like almost no rips over here. They're just like a bunch of rips over here. I don't know if he got into a fight with the dog or something, um, just on this side. Uh, but I don't know. So the rips, I don't like the rips. He's also got the undershirt, which is just this piece of cloth. It's not even a full shirt. See, it only goes, so like right here, it ends right here. And it's got the bow tie, also got his motion sensor. And then we get onto the face, which um, has some pros and cons. We've got the um, mouth with these like blood drips. It does look creepy. I think the original looked creepier and had this like creepy smile and stuff. This one kind of looks childish and kind of kind of stupid with his all his like crooked teeth and whatever and like the other and uh, the original had like these angry eyebrows and he looked way angrier and more menacing this one 
doesn't really look that angry. We have his hat as well, which is attached to his hair. Um, cause he actually comes in the box when you take him out. He's a bald, he's a bald boy. And his hat actually comes with the hair. So he's got the red hair. And I, I think it looks pretty cool. The hat, like, is kind of deformed. Also, the face is deformed. I forgot to mention that. And the nose was kind of pushed in like that when I first got it, but I fixed it. The cheeks keep getting kind of deformed, too. So, you know, um, latex has the pros and cons. Um, it does kind of get deformed, but I feel like it works better. It looks better than uh, the plastic. He's also got his neck. I don't know why I'm showing that off, but I am. The buttons as well. So, yeah, that's, that's Uncle Charlie. That's his detail category. So, I think that's, that's basically a pro. It's, it's pretty good. He has pretty good detail. I think it's better than the original, and I do like it. The next category is his animation. Now, for the animation, it's pretty much the same as the original Uncle Charlie's. Um, he has light-up eyes. He turns his head, but the, um, the main new feature about this guy is that his mouth moves, as I'm pretty sure I said earlier. Um, he talks. He has the same phrases. Um, the audio quality is better, but, um, it's kind of, like, the voice pitch is a lot higher, and it just kind of sounds really childish, and that's something I don't like about him. He sounds kind of childish, but, um, he's, he's still, he's still pretty cool. He turns his head and everything, and he moves his mouth. Also, his eyes light up yellow. The original ones, I'm pretty sure, lit up red, but, uh, sadly, they made his eyes light up yellow on this one. Oops, sorry, I just kicked something. I guess yellow eyes are more realistic. I don't know. Red eyes look kind of at the same time, I feel like that kind of makes him more like a demon. Um, because I feel like red eyes, they don't exactly fit him, but they make him look creepier. So, I'd, I'd rather have red eyes than yellow eyes. But the yellow eyes are still pretty cool. I'm glad he at least has some light-up eyes, because I do like the light-up eyes. And they have, he has realistic eyes. I don't know if the original eyes on the original Uncle Charlie were that realistic. I feel like they didn't have the pupils or anything. But, uh, I don't know. So... That, um, was pretty much, uh, that was like three or four categories I did. Um, sometimes I do more categories on my prop reviews, sometimes I do less. But, um, that's all the categories I could think of, um, that I should discuss for this guy. So, um, yeah, also some other things I wanted to talk about is his height. He's very tall. He is 6.3 feet. So, you know, he, he looks very nice and tall. And see, I also like to always give a shot of him like this. You know, I think that just looks really cool, makes him look really tall. And, um, I think, I think this guy is a really awesome prop. I definitely recommend him, and let me give you his rating. So, I, I did say that I recommend this prop and everything, but there are a lot of pros, but there are a lot of cons as well. There are more pros than cons, okay? Um, he's, he's a good prop. But, sadly, because of stuff like his lollipop, how the face can get deformed, and other stuff like that, the rips kind of look weird. You know, just, just little minor things, I'm going to have to take two points off of that, and giving him an 8 out of 10. Um, it's, this isn't the best rating. I mean, it's not like the lowest rating I'll give. But, um, I think he's still... He's still a really good prop. Definitely recommend him. And yeah, um, if you have the money or time or whatever, um, yeah, I definitely recommend purchasing him. He works really well. Um, you don't need to fit him in like a theme. You can just kind of like put him on your front porch with maybe some little other clown dolls or, you know, um, just streamers and stuff. And you can put candy in his bucket so kids can reach in and get candy. And yeah, I think he works as a really good, nice Halloween prop. So, um... Yeah, that was my review on Uncle Charlie. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're feeling extra nice. But anyways, um, that's all I have to say for his review. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.